What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bolero. Sam here with the Sultan of Sando, Mr. Gablim, and Mr. Maui Yap. We're doing another back-to-back episode. We just talked about uh, Adamson beating UE in the previous episode. Today, we're going to talk about our Final Four preview. Pero uh, to talk about the Final Four, let's let's talk about things to watch out for in, in the upcoming game. So, siguro we'll do a round-robin. Uh, of things to watch out for for the first game and then the second game. Ano ba yung first game, Maui? I think yung nag-share ng schedule. UP! 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 Sige. 3.30. 3.30. Saturday. Sige, let's talk about that first. So, one thing to watch out for in the U- UP versus UST game, Maui. Yeah. Uh, ako, if you're talking about UP versus UST, you have to talk about the backcourt. Diba? Uh, it it's gonna be Kagulangan, Ilel Arcon versus Cabanero and Padrigao, di ba? Uh, I think that's one of the most important things to look out for. Uh, we've been saying this on the show. We haven't seen Kagulangan and Ilel Arcon have a good game at the same time. Will it be finally be the game that they have that game? Uh, I'm also looking forward to the backcourt of, of UST. Di ba? Uh, we're seeing Forsky Padrigao back in the Final Four and we're gonna going to see Finally, after four seasons, Nick Cabanero in the final four. Diba? I think he, he in the press conference, he said it best. Diba? He waited, 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 and waited to get this chance. How will he will he take advantage now that he has that chance to play in the final four? Uh I think even the Korean basketball league is looking forward to seeing Cabanero in Kagulangan. In the final four, uh, the insider in in Twitter X actually mentioned three names to look out for, three guards to look out for for one team. It's Cabanero, it's Kagulangan, and Clint Echamis for 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 ano uh, for that guard slot. So if Kagulangan, uh, if 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 Cabanero can pull off just an upset, just an upset, force another game against UP, and have his best game in the UAEP, maybe score twenty five. To 30 points, and he can cement himself in history diba? in the UAAP. We all know si Kagulangan has already cemented himself in UAAP history. But, and Padrigao also has made his mark in UAAP history, Alarcon has. But it's gonna be Cabanero time. Diba? The UAAP, yeah, if UAST fans have been waiting for this opportunity as much as Nick Cabanero has waited for this opportunity, they're finally back in the final four. And again, it's a team led by Pedro Jarencio. Diba? With all the doubt, with all the bashers, with Pido Horencio, even seeing mamatay kayo lahat, <laughs> they're gonna make the final four as the third seed in a very tightly contested season. Diba? Uh, we mentioned this in our last episode. We It's not every day that we see a seven, a 500 team make it to the final four as the third seed. That's how hard it has been. That's how crazy this season has been. UE did not make the final four despite ending the first round at 5-2. UST almost had a meltdown mid-season and still made it to the Final Four. So I'm excited to see diba? these four players, especially the backcourt. Diba? Uh, yeah. Tab. Ako, very simple lang. From how the trend has gone in the U- UP versus UST games, it's usually dependent on Motongkara. So I am, the one thing, that most important thing I'm watching for in this game on Saturday is, uh, one, Motongkara's fouls and Motongkara's mm-hmm. minutes. Um, how much time is he going to play? Is he going to play the entire game? Is he, is he going to get into foul trouble? If he gets into foul trouble, I don't think UST has a chance to, to beat UP because their front line is thin. After Motongkara, it's Eko Laure. Laure time! Who, you know, is not that tall and uh, not that, you know, capable. If you put him up against a QMB, Francis Lopez, Gianni Stevens, Kidikachi Ododo, I don't think he'd want that. Zayn Mahmood, who has been perpetually in Coach Pido's doghouse, probably one of the boleros of the season. Uh, just by how little he has played and how much Coach Pido has no confidence in him. So, uh, 
I I don't think coach I I think those are you know uh, break gla- break the glass in, ga- in case of emergency kind of things for coach Pido. I think if Mo get, does get into foul trouble or does need a blow or or some rest, you're gonna see probably see Chris Ostomo or si Manaitai taking on center duties and maybe coach Pido going into a zone just to keep them off just to keep them off from scoring inside the paint. No, uh, I think we will rarely see, barely see uh, Echo Lauri or Zayn Mahmood in this game. I think it's been a point of uh, importance for for or, or a point of emphasis for for UST to keep Mo out of foul trouble. The same goes with Chrysostomo because I think Chrysostomo is going to be the main um, the main guy on Francis Lopez. Mm. Uh, he's going to be the main um, guy on Torcula's main guy on the Belmonte. I, I don't think the Belmonte is going to play much in this game. But yeah, uh, those are the guys that I think that USD has, has to keep up, out of foul trouble. Motonkara most especially. I think he's the most important USD player in this series. The backcourt, I think, are just going to cancel each other out. Both teams have good guards, good, good, wing, good wing players, probably the best in all of the UAAP, the two of these teams. But mm-hmm. the front court is where the, the difference has to be made. Can Motungara get because he's cooked? You every time he's gone against UP, he's cooked. He's he he's always got gotten his baskets. He's all he's always uh gotten his points whenever he's faced UP because he's much faster than QMB. Si, Fra, si Francis siguro yung best matchup niya, but even with Francis on him, he still gets his, his buckets. So I do think that uh, Motonkara is going to be the most important player for for UST in this in this series in this game. Hindi pala series game pala muna yung bago mga series ito. Sami, I I love that I love that uh, pick. So you guys talked about the star guards. Gab, you talked about the main big or FSA for UP versus UST. Uh I was going to talk about the backcourt, Maui. Um, ganda talaga ng matchup na yon, and I think tama. I agree with you, Gab. Probably the two best backcourts in this in the UAP this season. So I'm I'm going to switch it up, and I'm going to be looking at um the role players or the guys, the supporting cast of uh specifically of UST. Um, a little bit of UP. Then we've seen UP lose two at the end of the season where nobody, everybody had a bad game, the bus. Uh, but they ended with two straight wins, I think. And um, some of the other guys stepped up. Guys like Sina Jerry Abadiano stepped up. Um, for UST, they haven't beaten UP. Hindi pa nila natatalo yung UP. So the question is, um, your main guys, we expect a lot. Uh, they'll probably cancel each other out nga, sabi mo, Gab, yung backcourt. Uh, Tungkara, he, he, can, he can score, he can do his damage. But what can we expect from the other guys? Guys like Crisostomo, Mark Lemit, guys that have been inconsistent. May games that they have been dominant and they've been very good. But there are games na talagang absent sila. But the one guy, the one guy that I think could spell a difference and had a great ending to his season, Asido, for me, Asido. He he was hot. He ended his season really well. And can he sort of keep it up and be that X factor for this USD team? Imagine if he can hit like four, five threes again, again against a team like U- UP that could be big for UST because the two games that they lost against um, UP uh, it was sort of a close game for most of the for most of the game and then siguro UP would pull away in the end pero hindi naman din tambakan siya so imagine having like looking for that X factor a guy like Asido if he can contribute like four threes that would be huge for for UST and they could steal a game against UP so that's like the one thing for me. But I do want to mention, since we've always talked about it, and maybe you guys have a parang uh, runner-up 
pick or uh, uh, honorable mention. Uh, I'm watching out for that UP versus UST fan rivalry. Yung energy and yung um, craziness of both fan fan bases. Matagal na natin to sinasabi. U- UP and UST probably the two loudest uh, fan bases um, in in the UAAP. I'm excited for them to fill out the 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 Colosseum, the arena, and just you know take turns out out shouting each other, out cheering each other. UP fight, chaka go oste. That would be really crazy. Um, and alam naman natin, uh, even off the court, may 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 a little rivalry ongoing dito sa UP versus UST all the way back to CJ Cancino mo- deciding to leave UST and move to UP. Um, if you look at Twitter, <laughs> if you you're a lurker on Twitter like me, alam niyo yung may rivalry between these two schools. So I'm excited for that fan rivalry then. The last time UST made the finals, diba? it was via that Henry Tobido game-winning shot over Bright Aqueti. Very good series and Renzo too. Subido. Upset Renzo, Renzo, Renzo Subido. Renzo Subido. Sorry, Ren- Renzo Subido. I don't know why I mentioned Henry. But yeah, upset, uh, upset then, yeah. if I were UST, that was also a very, very, very talented top-to-bottom UP team. Diba? They had a lot of stars. So if I'm UST, I'm praying that they play play the same way that they did during that upset series. Good point. Good point, Maui. Gab, before we move on. Well, ako, I'm on a turnover watch. Both for both teams. Because mm. I think one of the ways that UST can uh, beat UP is by turnovers. Uh, and just running the floor because they're outmatched in size. But if they can get the ball in transition, get Hortsky running the floor, finding shooters, finding Mo for easy basket or Nick for easy baskets, they're gonna have a good chance. As we said, throughout in the first round and second round, Nick Cabanero was manhandling the UE, the, the UP wings. Re, yung Raylan Torres couldn't do anything against him. Harold Alarcon was a bit successful, but he was still getting outmatched in terms of strength by by Nick Cabanero. So he's the one guy who can possibly bully his way against the, the UP defense. But you can't have help, de- help, help defense guys in Lopez and QMB when you're Nick Cabanero and you're trying to drive to the basket against the guards of UP. You need to have no backline. So how, how, how do you do that? You have to run. I do think you, USD is going to try to shoot a ton and they're going to have to run. On UP's end, I'm, of course, on rotation watch. How is the rotation going to look? Is it gonna is Coach Gold going to play around again and uh, go back to his mm. to the guy, I to Bermonte, so. to Briones, <laughs> you know, uh, Baila, Go! I, I want to see JD, I want to see Harold, I want to see Jerry Abajano, I want to see those guys mainly eating up the, the primary minutes. Sa and Aldo Francis, oh, oh, and majority QMP. And then whoever of the three big guys, kung yung, sino man yung mag-backup sa kanya. But those are the main guys I suspect. I do hope Coach Gold goes with a shorter rotation. I don't want to see any more Briones. Getting one to two minutes, tama na. I mean, siguro kung blow out, sige, pwede. But get Harold, get JD going. I want to see Harold again. I want to see Harold from the UE game. I want to see Harold cook. Diba? I want to see both JD and Harold cook in the same game. I do hope we we get that. Again, my you, my concern is still there. Is it still a, a, a your turn, my turn between JD and Harold? Does one have to have a bad game for the other one to have a good game? I want to see them both perform at the same level that I know that they can perform in. So rotation watch is still on for me for for UP in this game. Uh, I do hope it's not Belmonte starting. I you know, I, I know Ozzy Aldos got injured. I do hope he's ready for the game on Saturday. So I do hope we see if it's not Aldos. I hope it's Lopez. Uh, si Belmonte just give him a few minutes, but give the majority of the minutes to Lopez and or Torculas. 
Uh, sabi Maui, any last things for yeah. you? And yeah, ako, ako actually, aside from that, maybe two players from each team, diba? That, that I'm looking forward to. Uh, si Chrysostomo, Sam, as you mentioned, I think has to play well for, for them to have a chance. I also think si Lemit or Asido have to have career games for them to have a chance to win this game. Uh, for you, Pete's two players. It's Lopez and uh, Fortea. I think they had their best games against UST. Diba? So will, will it be a third best game for these two? Lopez had 15 points and Terkulas had 11 during the first round map encounter. Uh, during the second round encounter, Lopez had 20 points. Was the player of the game, if I'm not mistaken. And Forte had 16 points and four three-pointers. Diba? So two games, mm-hmm. these two guys were the basically the top scorers for, for UP. I think it's the way that UST plays. Diba? They play fast. Diba? So, so these two players strive when the offense is fast. Diba? Lopez obviously thrives when the game is fast because of its athleticism. Fortea thrives on on missed uh, matchups when, when he gets that open three-point shots off screens. When he gets that three point shot in the corner, diba? so these two players, if UST has the chance to win this game, they have to limit them. Uh, probably limit them to, to less than 20 points combined for them to win. I think those two games they scored close to 30 plus. Diba? So if UST is uh, ever gonna have a chance to win this game, they have to limit these two players and make the other players beat them. Probably a Badjan, or maybe if they play Briones and they play Belmonte, which I don't think that they should do much like what Gab mentioned. Uh, all of the four minutes has to be Turkulas and Lopez. Diba? It's playoff time. No more experimenting. <laughs> Go with your key guys. Go with your yep. trusted and proven guys. So if I were Coach Gold, I would limit the minutes of Baila and Belmonte. Mm-hmm. Good point. Um, we'll see what Coach Good will do, no. Pero based on ano, the last the last two games that they had, I think I think he will stick to his main guys. I think, uh, but we don't know. Uh, moving on to the next game, I will be at... very surprised if he goes back to his <laughs> experimental rotation. Exactly. I will be, very... and I'm sure a lot of UP fans will be very surprised as well. <laughs> Unless next level gaming tong si Coach Gold, diba? Hindi natin alam. Uh, moving on. Next, let's talk about the next game. Adamson versus DLSU. Something to watch out for. Let's start with you, Gablim, the Adamson Whisperer. Well, rebounding is my key stat for this game. Hmm. Uh, yep, it's rebounding. Uh, for the first two matchups of Adamson and Lasal for... This season, La Salas freaking demolished Adamson on the boards. Uh, Adamson has Manzano, has Barasi, and has Ojaricre as their bigs. And that's it. <laughs> uh, see, Ignacio is there, but you know, he's not really a big. He's more of big. It's not really big. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> gets namin gab. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I think um, they're gonna. Adamson has to gang rebound. Um, I don't think that um, they're gonna survive or even keep this game close if if they let Mike Phillips, Henry Agunani, or any of the Lasal bigs get offensive rebounds and get second chance points. They're just not gonna. They're just not gonna last against this LaSalle front line. Um, and as saying that, they have to keep their bigs out of foul trouble. OJ, Cedric, mm-hmm. to an extent si Franzman, yung NC Barasi have to keep themselves out of foul trouble. Again, they're very thin. Kumo, if they're forced to sit out those guys, they will be very outmatched inside the paint. They're, Mike Phillips is probably going to have a ton of barbecue chicken uh, if he sees guys like uh, Franzman, Mantua playing power forward and matching up against him, he's just going to grab those rebounds and gobble up those rebounds over and over again. I 
that is my key stat for for Adamson versus Lasal. And another thing, if you let Lasal do dominate the boards, Lasal is gonna have a ton of open threes and a ton of transition opportunities, which they like. They like to run off of those Mike Phillips rebounds. They like to shoot threes off of offensive rebounds. They've always done this. So if you let them crash the boards like well, what they've done in the first few matchups and in multiple games this season, hi Ateneo, uh, they are going to eat you alive. They are going to run away with this game if the rebounding battle is so much in favor of them. So I think that's pretty clear. I'm just reading the stats from their previous games. I'm just, I'm just it's my observation that when Lasal just dominates the, the rebounding battle, they will most surely win. Again, sabi nga ni Akagi, whoever controls the rebound controls the game. And Mike Phillips usually controls the rebounds. <laughs> nice slam dunk reference pa. Nice one. Uh, My favorite Maui. line from slam dunk. Oh, nga, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, by the way, comment down below yung rating nyo of Gab's impersonation of Akagi. Uh, one to five. Five being the highest. Maui. <laughs> Yeah, I think Sigab mentioned one of my one of the things that I want to, to to watch out for during this game. Aside from rebounding, I'll be looking at the three point shooting. Diba? I think that's one of the main reasons why Adamson started to really click in the second round. They've started to match or even exceed you three pointers made the teams that they've faced. Uh, I think against LaSalle, they hit three pointers during the second round the first round. And four three-pointers during the second round. Uh, Lasal hit 10 in one of those matchups and 15. That means in those two games, Lasal was 25, had three, five, 25 three-pointers and Adamson had seven. Diba? That's plus 18 in three-point shots. That's a plus 54 when you when you account it uh, for... Uh, I think that's one of the main reasons... Why Ad, why La Salas blown out Adamson? They've hit more than 10 three pointers per game. Uh the first game was more crazy because they also out rebounded Adamson by more than 20 rebounds. But I would be looking at that. Uh I would be looking at uh foul trouble of the big man. As Gab mentioned, uh La Salas is one of the best, if not the best, front line uh in the UAAP. I'm sure Agunane wants to get the 16 rebounds again. This is a team that Agunane had 16 rebounds. Uh, <laughs> I would be I would be surprised if Adamson was able to to surprise Lasal. To be honest, uh, if that first round and second round matchup was any indication mm -hmm. of what kind of game we might get, sayang uh, sayang lang din if Adamson made the final four. I hope we get a close game. Adamson will probably have to slow down the game. They play their cash, their usual grinded out race to 50 points game. If Lasal scores more than 70, I don't think Adamson has a chance. Diba? I don't think even Ad, even Adamson in their games that they've won, you mentioned in our last episode, Sam. Adamson has scored 60 to 60, 65 to 69 points. Diba? Uh, if Lasal gets to 70, if Lasal gets to 40. Even 40 in the first half, I think it will be a blowout. So Adamson will have to slow down the pace. Slow down the pace to limit the three-pointers. Slow down the pace to limit limit the fast break points. Take care of the basketball because LaSalle will, without a doubt, get more opportunities than you because of the rebounds. So yeah, uh, but most of all, three-pointers. If they can even match how many three-pointers LaSalle has made, then maybe they can, this can be a game. Franzman, Anabo, all of those three-point shooters. Sama mo si Eli Ramos, who's not a very good three-point shooter. If he can make one or two three-pointers, that could help Adamson. Sorry, sorry. This, this I, Saturday. You, I, I, I have not uh, heard three, you three-point shooter and Eli Ramos in the same <laughs> sentence ever before. <laughs> that's that's uh, no, that's what needs to happen diba? for Adamson even to have a chance, I think. Versus LaSalle. They have to hit their three pointers. Diba? It's mm -hmm. they're definitely gonna LaSalle is as we know, uh LaSalle is at, at their best when they hit their three pointers and when they have a huge plus minus with regards to their three pointers. That's how they beat UP 
also two times, di ba? If KQ gets hot, then it's lights out for Adamson. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like that pick. Uh, kind of related to that, I wanted to say, uh, can can Adamson keep up with with Lasalle? Kahit in the first half. Kasi in the the last two games that they played, uh, I think in the first game, Adamson then single... Parang natambakan na sila eh, Single-digit score nung first quarter pa lang. And then in the second game, they kept it a bit closer. Tapos biglang nung last five minutes nung second quarter, napaku na sila at like 20 or 25 points. And then uh, I remember like Lasalle made a run... Um, with a bunch of like threes or something like that. Tas dun na sila na iwan. So first half, first half pa lang pag maiwan na ng Lasal yung Adamson, medyo delix na for Adamson. But actually my my pick, my pick for this one thing to watch out for for this game is um rest versus rust. Uh Lasal last, wow, Lasal last. The classic. The classic, <laughs> the classic. Medyo um cheesy pero totoo kasi Lasal last played November 13. So, when they play against... That's two weeks ago. And when they play against Adamson this Saturday, that would be like, what? 18 days after. 18 days prior yung last game nila. Whereas, you compare Adamson, Adamson will be playing their third game within one week. Or basically within eight days. That's a good Saturday, point. That's, a, that's actually a diba? good point. Yeah. Saturday against Ateneo, it was a do-or-die game. Wednesday against UE, it was a do-or-die game. Saturday against Lasal is going to be another do-or-die game. So it's it's their third game in eight days and it's all do-or-die games. So for me, Adamson... Uh, can Adamson keep up yung performance nila in the last two, uh, in the last two games where they were dominating... Uh, Ateneo and UE, kaya ba nila i-keep up yung ganong level of performance against an Alasal team? And Gab, you mentioned that they were very f- physical with Precious Momoe. Can they keep up yung physicality against a way bigger Lasal team? Uh, that's the question. But on the other hand, Lasal, they haven't played in 18 days. So the question is, how will they come out? Will they come out uh, guns are blazing, super hot, uh, with full of energy, or will they be rusty? And remember, their last game was a loss. Was a loss, diba? So, the Sun's coming off a loss. Adamson is coming off two of their best wins of the season. So, dun sa akin factor yung rest versus rust. Okay, Sam. Uh, first of all, turn, you turn your light back on. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, you go. Go. there you go. There you go. We can finally see you. So yeah, I, I totally agree. Actually, that was one of my thoughts, and that's a very good point, Sam. I had not realized that LaSalle had not played in 18 days. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Rust is definitely going to be a factor. Uh Adamson has been clicking this whole week with their two games. They have been running their offense very smoothly. We, we, we just outlined their game against UE. 26, uh, 23 out of their 26 field goals were all were all assisted. They were running their offense, finding open cutters, and just not turning the ball over, which is uh, something that's very different from Adamson. If you watch them this season, they turn the ball over a ton. And Lasal, mm-hmm. if you turn the Lasal as well, turns the ball over a ton. That's true. I know. <laughs> so uh, the turnover count is an, 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 another thing to watch, but I, I do think that the most important one is rebounding. And next, you said being Maui, yung three point shooting. I, let's see if Lasala has the fresher legs because that's also a factor. You know? if, you, if you haven't yeah. played for so long, yeah. you're well rested. You have a lot more energy. They have the, the deeper lineup. Uh, they True. have a deeper lineup, plus they have prolonged rest. You would expect that they will come out with, with a lot more energy. Although, you can also see na Adamson is, he has a rhythm, he has momentum. So maybe they can come out with the same amount of energy as they did against UE and against Ateneo as well. Uh, another thing I'm low-key watching for this game is KQ. Uh, he didn't end the season quite well, if I may say so myself. Uh, Siguro against UP mm-hmm. was uh, his uh, best game, but he was inefficient in that game. But in his last game against 
NU, he was inefficient. Uh, he's been low key, not been the KQ that you know, that we're used to seeing. Yes, I still think he's gonna win MVP despite the cold shooting in the past, the last few games of you know, of the elimination round. But I do want to see if we see the KQ that you know, that we saw in the early second round slash in the first round where he was efficient. He wasn't, you know, hugging the ball as much. He was running the offense. He was making his teammates touch the ball, g- giving it to Ra- the guys like like Raven Cortez, to Mike Phillips, to his wing shooters. So I do want to watch KQ. Uh, I do hope it's not a blowout, though. I do hope we get to see a competitive game. I mean, this is the second as game. As a basketball uh, As a fan, fan, this is the second game. It's at 6.30 in the evening. It's probably going to last until what? 8 30 to 9 p.m. at night. I do hope it's a, I do hope it's competitive. On the other hand, it, if it's a blowout, I can't leave early. So podcast uh, na agad. Maga aga yung podcast. Buti na lang hindi mo na Asia. Buti lang di mo wa. Di mo wa. But but yeah, uh same thoughts uh with, with regards to Kevin Kiambao, di ba? We, with regards to players who play in the FIBA FIBA. They usually get a boost when they go back to their teams. Mm-hmm. Right? I think that's been the case for not just NBA players, for also for Europeans. Right? It's one of the reasons why Yabusele is now in the NBA. He's right? continuing to, to play on that high. Uh, but no more the Schroeder is also having a career year in France. Even Franz Wagner is having a career year for for uh for for the magic, diba? a ton of players usually play when they when they go back and play internationally because you get to work with other players and ha- see how they train because you also play with the top of team of the club of the world. Uh Kevin Kiambao has not posted or we haven't seen really in social media any League Labas games. I hope that oh. he doesn't play. <laughs> Good I hope God. he doesn't play in any more games until the finals ends. Diba? Uh, there have been rumors actually. As early as December, he could be playing in the KBL. Diba? So time to really focus on getting the bag. Diba? We don't want any last-minute injuries happening. We don't want any last-minute uh, bad games also in the finals. It's time to lock up that contract and get the bag. Diba? I don't think we'll see KQ in Season 88. This is time time to play the best three games of your career. Malay mo yung KBL, maging B-League or maging NBL. Who knows? Yeah, that's a good point, Maui, on on KQ playing for uh probably a professional contract then. And and if this is his last season in the UAP, siempre you want to end it on a high, diba? You want to end it with a championship and cement your legacy. Obviously, he's already cemented his legacy with the championship last season. Pero you you want to end it with a high. Um like, like a Dave, Il, Dave Ildefonso, a 3D Ravenna. So, 30. W- tama na yung ano, tama na yung distractions. Um, just focus on these last, what, uh, three, four games uh, and win that championship and go get the bag. That's a good point, Maui. Uh, last words, Gab, before we end. See you at the Arenata Coliseum. If mm-hmm. ever we get... To see each other. I think Maui was going on. Maui, you ba? 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 Yeah. So, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> no, I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Kahit na wala ang, ang Ateneo dyan, yung alma mater ko, I'm still excited mm-hmm. for these games. I do want to see close, exciting games. I, I do want to see the battle of the crowds for UP and UST. Mm-hmm. And can if there are upsets on the table, I'm all for it. More games? Mm-hmm. More games means more Boleros episodes. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm all for it. I I, I hope we get two good uh, games on Saturday. No blowouts. It's... No, you no blowouts. Sana man wala. At least we're not close competitive. Oh, di ba? Um, it's December already. It's gonna be December already on Sunday. So, uh. <laughs> Grave, time flies. Time flies. We started in September, so it's it's going on gonna be three months already once we uh get to oh, <laughs> you get to the finals, three months now UAP and what a three months it has been. So 
Uh, I still think we're headed for a UP La Salle final. So of all the talk of the upset and, and all that, I still think it's gonna be UP versus La Salle. And that has nothing that has happened, mm. even with the UP losses, with the La Salle loss at the end of the first round, with any, with any of the things that have happened in the elimination round. I still think as we started in September, we're headed for a UP La Salle final. But I do hope we Get, get an upset here or two, a close Make game. Make things yeah, interesting. Oh, oh ganun, exciting! Diba? Gusto na rin. Wala mo na pang bato sa apat na to. So, na exciting, diba? Uh, Ilabas na ang Santo Papa, diba, sa UST. <laughs> Parang Ateneo before. <laughs> Ghost eh, joke. <laughs> oh, hey, that's it. That's it for Maui. Uh, bahit ka nag-cheer sa USD. I think I know why. But that's it for today's episode. Um, if you have... Comment down below your thoughts. If you have one thing to look out for in these final four games, let us know. Uh, and if... Sabi nga ni Gab, magde-December na, malapit na ang Pasko. Kung meron kayong gusto ipadalang regalo sa amin, email is the key. PM is the key. <laughs> Joke lang. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Please say hi. Gab and Maui will be there. It's a game Saturday. Bye-bye. See you.